I lost all my money! <sighs> well, not a big deal. Oh, well, kinda. You see, the problem is, to upgrade, you require money, and even though right now it's pretty cheap, you know, it'll grow, it'll grow, but we can only do a few Patapons right now, so why don't we go and do that right now? Let's make the first one. Because you can see this entire grid being, you know, a ton of different Patapons, but if you go to the other ones, you might realize that some dots aren't where they are. Quite strange indeed, hmm. Well, let's go and upgrade, shall we? Let's get this one. The Pollo. Pollo Pollo. That's like bunny ears, you know, it's very really nice, right? Well... By upgrading just one, we unlock a new class. We get the Keep Up... Keep Upon. These guys... Once I get something, oh, we're only gonna get two. Ooh, ooh, that sucks. We can only have three of them. All the special petapons after these three will only require, will only let you have three, which kind of sucks. But in return, we get to have a very unique class. Let's head for this boss real quick and let's trade out. Can't trade out the hero as much as I want to. Let's trade out. Uh, we'll keep the bunny in. We'll keep the Poyo Poyo in. Let's get rid of the... No, 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 no. Let, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of that. Let's have these guys. They are horse riding units. They are here to fight for glory and so on. So let's engage. And let's see how these guys commit to the cause that is me fighting bosses and throwing myself get ready for one of my favorite themes we heard it earlier but this time it's the main stage get ready for my favorite theme in patapon <laughs> As I interrupt myself to do the <laughs> to do the juju. So let me confess something while I do this real quick. I really like this visual. I really like the the fact of having like a little mini game to use an effect in the game and everything. It's a rhythm game after all. And I like this spinning 3D thing as it you know you cycle around and everything. But I don't like the juju at the same time. Because here's something interesting. You already seen the big potential of Juju that I messed up at the very end. You've already seen the potential of Juju right here. Not kidding. This is the only boss that requires you to use it, and I don't like that it does use. Oh god, they're flying! Because the problem is. It's. We're gonna have to keep doing it over and over again, you know? That counter says 90, it's not going to be here for the entire stage. We are going to have to keep popping the juju every time the fox comes up. We have no option to just fight it normally. So it might get a little annoying to me and to many of you if you're playing along. That we're going along and just keep using juju over and over again, you know? Oh man, I messed up. Either way, this boss. I decided to not attack because I knew they were going to run into that. <laughs> it's just a little bit annoying to me, but you know. It, it's maybe, maybe at first it's not as annoying because it's, you know, the bosses don't take that long. But if you're going to go and repeat the bosses for the longevity, where the bosses will increase their HP and defense and everything, it might then become very annoying to keep doing Fever on over again. But aside from that, this is the boss. This weird spider? Thing? I don't even know if it's a spider. It's like half spider, half scorpion, which is a creepy thought to think about. But either way, he has multiple attacks. He can stab himself in the stack, whatever, to give out poison, which flings so much to the other Patapons. He can also slam its giant uh, fang thing. Hey, we're getting fangs, so I assume it's a fang of some sort. That he will slam down and attack everyone. And this attack is another kind of instant attack. 
The problem is, he will pierce one of the Patapons and start... Sucking the life force, which you have a chance to stun him to free the Patapon, but because we have to do Juju to even attack him, that Patapon is dead. You see what I mean? Let's talk a bit about the Kiba Pond. Let's let's talk a little bit about them. They are really fast. They're well, their attack speed are normally the same, but their just regular speed for walking and everything is quite high. They run fast. They have 20% crit. 10% KB, I don't know what KB is actually, and 10% st uh, st st stress, okay. stunning, stun, CNC means stun, I don't know why it's CNC, but CNC means stun, I don't know what KB is, but yes, they run really fast, they can retreat really quickly when you call them back by, by walking or defending, and every time they attack, they pull back from the front lines, which is really helpful in some cases. Egg! We have gotten another egg! Very, very nice. Only two Juju uses, but it's gonna take a lot longer in other missions when you try to repeat, because I haven't gone into the whole theme of going back to fight. You know, I've talked about it a little bit, but I haven't really showed it, and that's because we don't really have a need to go back to the other bosses right now, but yeah. He wants to sell things once and what he wants to settle things once and for all at Mount Gone Rock. When facing enemy troops, have the Tetapons form a barrier protection with Chaka Chaka. Fun facts. Confident you'll succeed, you defeating him in the past. Uh, not in this channel though. With that, you might be asking now that I feed him a boss, what is the workaround to not fight that boss using the Juju? Remember that egg we got? Sentra Egg Level 1, a mysterious egg to lead to the battle. Grand Satano's power is the Lord of Swift Feats. Every egg has its own version, Fire Retardants and Giver of Life. Why is that text there? We're about to see. But for now, let's show off our new special move of Kidapon, the Destroyer. Discharge a lethal projectile capable of slicing through any object that stands its way. With other gear strapped, strapped on, let us... Nah, let's charge it. I don't think we have any options. Nope, we, we're stuck with these defaults, uh, computer players. Not the strongest, but we'll take them. That right there is a countdown until you're able to make commands. Every time you mess up, you have to hear that countdown for everyone to be on the same boat. Again, it meant for multiplayer, not for, you know, it wasn't meant for single player, but either way. This is simply just beat the boss with four players inside of your Patapon army. And again, as I mentioned before, the hero mode does only include having normal difficulty and timing, so I'm not getting a ton of perfects really instantly, so if I can focus... If I can focus... Here is the destroyer! It charges forth like a beam of light and does incredible damage. Doesn't stop, just keeps going. Just the fact that it keeps piercing and keeps damaging despite your commands is kind of incredible, you know? I don't care about the damage, we can tank it, come on! I'm using the barrier to see when I can attack, or how to make the timing, which talking is gonna ruin it even more. Come on, come on. All we have to do is bring the egg, we don't have to worry about the egg cracking or anything, we just have to focus on defeating the boss. Come on! That would be an insta-kill in our world. If the hero got eaten by that, the hero would not be able to respawn, but since this is the Pata Gate, uh, they can. So don't worry about insta-kills. Not, not that big of a deal here. Not bad at all. 
Also, if you're wondering what happens if you eat the boss but don't take the egg in the goal, don't worry, the timer stops. <laughs> They're not gonna let you fail once you're right at the end of the goal. But don't put your controller down just yet, because even though you defeated the boss, you've not won the war. Pick, on pick your controller back up, because it's time to... I love this. I love this insanity. You know what to do already. Every time you get a perfect, you get some more money! Now hit the drum with the rhythm, using only the sounds! Now everyone come together, it's time for the big finish! I messed up! <laughs> Damn it, I messed up. It's been so long since I've done this. Oh my god. And the reason why this matters a lot is because it actually determines your reward. Which, your first time through is always going to be a computer, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I did mess up when I did. <laughs> oh. But otherwise, it is, I don't know why, but I love it. It's, it's just, it's, it's so just amazing and insanity and I don't know, man. It's just amazing, okay? I just like the ending sequence of everything, but yeah. Now, here's the big deal. The money you get in this boss fight is not Kaching, it is para Chari. I don't know what that is. But if you open a chest, you get items. Yeah, so instead of fighting the boss, you could just do the hero version of it, don't have to deal with the juju, and still get drops out of it. So, why would you bother doing the boss to continue doing juju, right? It's pretty neat. Now granted, later on this won't be as good as fighting it normally, as I'll bring to later, but if you need any extra fangs, recommend doing the hero mode instead, instead of doing the regular one, just so you don't have to deal with the jujus all the time. And, if you want even extra money, if you just leave the power, the the ones you have left over, it turns into money, and it's a lot of money! A hundred equals to almost 500 plus! It's incredible how much money you make if you don't want to get the items. Which is sometimes valuable, because we could just grow our army that way. With all of that done! Let's see how far we can expand our army, as there is a lot we can do. These guys are good at knockback, so let's grow these because they give us puppy dogs! A rare pony whose attack power gra increases gradually when it grows up. We don't have any Cory, unfortunately, but we can unlock these other two. Oh, no, not that one. Fuma. Fu. Fu. Fum. Yeah. It's like Fumos, but yeah. Instead of saying Fum, no, it's Fum, yeah. Red Ponce uh, critical rate rises gradually as they level up. At level 5, their attacks become very fast, weak against ice damage, but might as well take that offer. We have this one, but you still don't have a cherry tree, so. Let's see if we can grow some some cats. Puppies? Yes, we can! We have to tiny more. That grows into another new class, but we're gonna get into that another time. For now, let's see how far we can take this. Ooh, titanium ore. Of course, another titanium ore. Like critical stagger and damage will increase as the levels up. Uh, but we want more troops just to be in Wanda's. So let's make the other Tatapons that way for now. Let's have one of you be this way. We can see what the future one holds though. We need Mithril. Another very rare, rare one. Full out fight with the, with the ability to cause critical attacks and everything. But we'll get there eventually. Not now though. Uh, let's make two rabbits. Let's see. Where does this take us? Hard iron... Resistance gets fire and electrical attacks. That would be nice. Let's get let's get some of these. These are tadpoles. 
Nontama. And we see our group is now becoming more and more colorful by the day. I would like to keep going, but we're running out of Kaching, and I don't want to increase my uh, my Yume pawns right now. So we'll keep it like this for now. Alright, with our group all colored up, next time on Panapon. We're not going to go to where Gong is right now. We're going to actually go back a bit and deal with some of these levels we've came here before. Now we have some new items and more powerful attacks. Till then, next time on Patapon. We're well, not not you. Next time on Patapon, we'll deal with whatever is still outside the beach and forest area. See you guys. Till next time. Yeah.